The course is an introduction to design process and design thinking. And our main goal is to sensitize first year, first semester students to the relevance and the nuances of design thinking. There are two projects in the course. The first project is individual. Each student basically tackles that project on his or her own. The second project is team-based. My name is Ann Wu and I'm a freshman here at Olin College. Um, I'm from upstate New York, from Shenandoah High School. Design Nature, it's a really cool class. The first part of the semester, you're, you're learning like the, the more basic skills. You learn how to design, how to work in SOLIDWORKS. You also learn a lot, a lot of the design process. First of all, you would, you'd have to define your goal, which is based on a whole number of factors that you would get by doing research. And then, based on your design goal, you would come up with a lot of ideas, open-ended ideas of how to implement that or just general paths that you could take. And after you have that set of ideas, you, you would narrow down to a couple and then narrow down even more until you find something that you think would work best. And then it's a, it's a circular process too, so you can always go back if, and if something doesn't work, just change it. The first project starts out with us giving the students a fairly uh, loosely defined problem statement. There's a process that we try to get across. We call that the process content, but there's also the specific context in which the process is applied. And in this course, that happens to be uh, bioinspiration. We ask students to make connections with nature, to be inspired by nature, to learn about nature, and to appreciate nature. The assignment for the Hopper Project was to design a jumping um, mechanism, I guess, that was based off of some sort of um, biological um, entity. Like, for example, um, a frog hopper, a grasshopper, or um, any, anything else, which is, um, you know, the basis of the course, it's called design nature, so you base off, off of nature. My particular design was based on having stored energy that would be released in one burst in, in the form of a, a lever, and then uh, that was kind of based off of a grasshopper. We tried to re-establish that broken connection between people and nature and engineers and nature. In appreciating the natural phenomena, they, we are hoping that they will be learning from it and they will be able to observe the natural behavior and abstract out certain principles that they can carry over to their own design thinking, their practices. And this year, uh, the context around the second project, again, is bio-inspired. The whole class is, um, we're asking them to design uh, swimmers, a device electromechanical gadget that will swim through water. We're providing it a little bit um, additional context compared to the Hopper project by saying, aha, this time it needs to be a toy and it needs to be attractive to uh, fourth graders. The first project, although we gave them some context and made them think about connections between nature and what they're doing and so forth, it was still kind of an intellectual exercise to a certain degree. But this one is like, you know, these people, like, you actually want to help in some way. You, you want to enrich their lives. My name is Carissa Leal, and um, this is a swimmer project that I made for my design nature class. Um, we first started with the needs of the fourth grader, which is our client base. So um, we came up with several different needs for um, fourth graders and molded our design requirements to sort of suit that. And we basically came up with making it a safe toy and making it durable. So that way fourth graders can have repeated use and can play with it in the pool multiple times. So our first couple of ideas to get this motion dealt with breaking up the wing into several different parts and controlling each part separately to achieve the motion. And we decided that was a little bit too complicated. So we sort of went with a more simple approach where there's only one actuator and the material just kind of flows in a wave-like motion and kind of follows it. We bring about 80 fourth graders onto campus and have a little celebration downstairs. And this time we're gonna to have to have large tanks of water so that the children can run around and interact with these toys and judge them and they're very cute and funny but they're very smart because a fourth grader knows what he or she likes from 100 yards. So when we pull them in and let them run around and we give them little clipboards and evaluation sheets. So there's an anticipation, there's, there's again uh, more accountability and that really motivates them further. The first project is more about the, the design process and the second project is a lot about like working with a team and um, with the entire interpersonal skills thing. Um, that's definitely something that, that you would need, I mean, later on in life, classes, anything, and also with the design process. We prioritize three values over others, and we believe that's strongly embedded in our culture, in our practice, in our approach to teaching design at Olin.
The first one is our emphasis on doing social good and trying to make sure that students understand the outcome of an engineering design process is really apart from the thing that you end up designing, the design, more about the relationship between that design and, and society. Secondly, our approach is particularly hands-on. It leverages project-based learning techniques. The third uh, value that we prioritize highly is the entrepreneurial side. And we try to make sure that the students understand they own their own projects, and not only in school, but in life in general.